the Suicide and Crisis Hotline 988 just launched last summer. Uh, they're getting a tremendous response and they're able to help people more quickly. New data released says more calls and texts are coming in, but as Caradio News Channel 13's Natasha Lynn explains, they're also getting answered faster than before. This success is largely due to $130 million in federal funding 988 got, which went towards hiring more staff and improving the job quality to retain that workforce. That includes increasing their pay, offering better benefits, and creating internship opportunities. Since the launch in July, the call centers have seen a significant rise in call volume at a total of 2.1 million calls, texts, and chats, and the majority are answered in under a minute. According to data from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, in the first six months of 988 launching, over 172,000 more contacts were answered by call, text, and chat before callers hung up at 48 percent. There are over 200 call centers in the country. Seven states had call centers before 988 launched, including Colorado. So for most states, the concept is new. And now, most states have over a 90 percent answer rate for contacts. According to 988's deputy director, Dr. John Palmieri, the average speed to answer year over year was about three minutes in 2021. It's now 44 seconds in December of 2022. In Colorado, about 3,800 calls would come in per month before the launch of 988, and it's now 4,700 per month. It really comes down to being available in that moment, ease of access. You can be anonymous. You can talk with either a peer specialist or a counselor. You have choices. In Colorado, the expectation is by this summer that 95% of the calls get picked up within 30 seconds. This is closely in line with the standards for 911. Representatives for 988 say, along with the funding, the ease of access around 988 is also what's influencing its huge success. The fact that people can call or text the number, as well as the marketing around the three-digit hotline makes it more widely known and easier to remember than the previous 10-digit number. In studio, I'm Natasha Lynn for KRDU News Channel 13.